All right, so why should you try to build a brand rather than just building a regular drop shipping store? What's up, VPM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video, and today I'm gonna be going over some of the differences between uh, having a brand and having a regular drop shipping store. So, for those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This channel is for the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do, and one of those things is for sure building a brand. Society does not want you to build a brand. I'm telling you guys because society knows that if you build a brand, you will make a lot more money, and for sure they don't want you. You to make more money. I'm telling you guys right now. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to look out. For those of you guys that are brand new, welcome on over. And if you guys want to see a lot more videos of me sharing different strategies within e-commerce, um, like brand building and a whole lot more, make sure you drop a like on this video. If you guys have anything to add or have any questions about you know building a brand versus having a regular drop shipping store, make sure you drop it in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't joined the family already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the VFAM. To kind of get started, all right, I have some um, no Notes put together here on my computer. So if you see me looking away, don't worry. I'm not like texting or anything. I'm looking just at the notes. I wanted to kind of outline and cover some specific things. But one of the things that I wanted to start off saying is that everyone can build a store, but not everybody can build a brand. And one of the things I learned from one of my mentors is take advantage of an opportunity that not many people can do because if there's an opportunity where anybody can just go ahead and do it right away, that means that it's probably not gonna make as much money and it may not last as long as it could or compared to another opportunity, right? So a perfect example is having a regular dropshipping store and having a brand. Now, of course, for anyone that's just getting started in e-commerce, you're gonna be able to come in and you know build a dropshipping store and actually start making money doing so, but not everybody will be able to, will be able to just come into e-commerce and build a brand right off the jump because it's not as easy, right? It does take some time and effort to do and I'm actually gonna get into that. A few months back when I had just gotten into not when I just spoke, when we were really at our peak of like grind mode with e-commerce, when we didn't have a team, it was just me and my business partner, Samir, you know, we were actually, um, we had actually came across these guys that were doing e-commerce and they were actually from New York. And I mentioned them in one of my previous videos, uh, but these guys were basically doing about three mil a month. And me and Samir looked at ourselves after we found out that they were doing those kind of numbers and we're like, what are these guys doing that we can't? Kind of like how we looked at the, two 17 year olds that were crushing with the fidget spinners when we first got started with e-commerce. And we started, you know, realizing like what made them do so well. We actually decided to, you know, message them on Instagram and see if we can meet up with them. And we actually had the chance to meet with them in Las Vegas. We literally drove up there at the time, uh, literally just to meet with them. We went to Vegas, not to like have fun, party, any of that, literally just to meet with these guys. We went there for like two days, literally went there, met with them and then like left the following day after that. It wasn't even that long of a trip. We went there to pick their brands. So we were lucky enough to have these guys accept to meet with us. So obviously I was super humbling and we got to you know speak about a thing or two and we got to learn a lot from these guys and one of the things that really made me realize the importance of having a brand is when we found out that they were selling the exact same products we were selling in our store for 10 times the amount you don't have to think about if you're selling products right and you think you're doing well you know you're doing over 200 grand a month but then you go and meet pe these guys that suddenly are selling the exact same products you're selling, but because they have a name attached to this product and you know, because they can get faster shipping, things like that, and because this actually, this store that they're buying from has a brand or the, the customers are buying from, they're able to sell it for 10 times the amount. Think about how that feels. It feels like you know, you, you, you immediately go from thinking you're crushing it to literally realizing like how much you're not crushing it. Cause obviously compared to you know them, they're obviously doing 3 million, 200 grand a month is like instantly nothing, right? Now they weren't doing 3 million from just, you know, one store, they had multiple stores, but they had multiple brands and that's the key, right? That's what I wanted to kind of talk about. Obviously when people see a product uh, that's behind a brand, people get a lot more of a connection with an actual brand than just a regular store, right? That people are just buying from. If you think about, you know, sneakers, right? Why can like, 
Why are Jordans, I have a pair of ones back there. Why are these ones a lot more expensive than like, you know, shoes from like Payless? I know actually in the East Coast we have Payless. I don't know if Payless is like national or if there's Payless everywhere in the world, but Payless makes shoes too. So why aren't they charging or why aren't they able to charge as much? Well, of course their brand is a lot different and they don't have as much of a brand as like Jordan per se. So obviously you can make a lot more money with branded products, no doubt about it. And you know, obviously the reason why you can do that is because it's not as easy to build a brand. So we'll kind of get into that. Also brands and products that are built around a brand stand out a lot more than just regular drop shipping products, right? Because when people buy a drop shipping product, it's like they buy it once, but they immediately forget like where they bought it from and the product where it came from and all that great stuff. Now, when it's a good brand they buy from and they have an experience, you know, buying with that brand, like the, the, the checkout process was amazing. The follow-up was amazing. Receiving the product, the packaging was incredible. And, you know, obviously, obviously using the product was obviously incredible to them as well. The whole experience, people remember that, right? Because obviously the whole experience was different. So people buy experiences almost all the time, right? That's why people will pay, you know, to stay at a better resort or hotel than a, you know, a basic motel, right? Because they want to have that experience of being around the right kind of people and obviously experiencing a lot better things and obviously a lot more. Alongside with brands standing out, brands also last a lot longer than regular stores or, you know, regular um, companies or businesses that aren't really trying to focus on building a brand, right? Uh, for a fact, we, you know, we've honestly tested and had multiple stores and stores that we make that we don't try to really build a brand. We don't really try to, uh, you know, grow our social medias. We don't really engage with our social medias. We don't engage with our customers. We don't really uh, have like back end systems in place. We don't really follow up with our customers and we don't really put as much effort into, you know, having these actual stores. Those have ended up not doing as well as with the stores where you take the time to actually think about having a full experience built around that store, right? Thinking about how can we make this ad obviously a lot more unique than other people's ads that are running the same products, right? How can we have a customer come in and have a different feel for our store rather than thinking that they're just on a regular drop shipping store where people are just sending the products to them from China, right? How can we make that feel different? How can we make our whole process different than anybody, anybody else's store that they can get the product from? And that's one of the goals when it comes to brand building that you wanna try to do is you gotta try to have a different experience than you know them going on Amazon, let's say, or another person's store and just buying that product there. Because if they can do that and it's a lot easier to do that, they will do that. Brand building is a long-term play. It's not something where you can just do overnight. It does take some time and effort to do. And you know, it does take a lot more work than running a regular drop shipping store. Anyone can go and put together a Shopify store in you know 20 30 minutes depending on how much experience you have with shopify you can go and put a store together and kind of start you know getting your ads good you know prepared and start launching those off and start actually making sales right it's not that difficult but when it comes to building a brand that's a whole different story right people take years perfecting and trying to build a brand and sometimes don't end up being as successful but it's something that has massive rewards so when i think about any opportunity whether it be learning new skill set taking risk whatever it is i always think about how much opportunity and potential does it have now building brand building it's something that has massive reward and we'll talk about that as well but building a brand may require things like you know having to have actual inventory i know a lot of people that are used to having a regular job shipping store usually you'll never have inventory but if you want to have an actual brand you're probably not going to keep having your customers wait whatever two to three weeks for shipping right you're probably going to want to have some inventory so you can actually ship products a lot faster and there is a way to do that without having to have as much risk i'll probably talk about that and i'm actually going to share how i'm planning on finding the next product to actually build a brand around and that's actually what me and my business partner have been focused on the last couple of days or last couple of weeks. That's one of the things that comes with part of building a brand, right? Again, and not much people willing to do that because they know that there's risk within having inventory. But in reality, if you find an actual product to sell that has already been proven to sell and you build a brand around it, uh, you're actually very likely to sell a lot more of those products than uh, rather if you just pick a random product, order it up front and just think you're going to build a brand around the product and just sell a ton of it. So there is some risk, but at the same time, you can kind of limit that risk as well. One of the best things about building a brand is if you can master and actually do it successfully, for one product, you can then do it for numerous pro products, which is like huge because I'm telling you guys, the fact that you can sell 
a regular product that anybody else is selling right now or that maybe you're selling right now for 10 times the amount. And I think about that. 10 times the amount, like literally, when I tell you that these guys, they were selling the same product we were selling for 10 times the amount, like we were selling this product for like $15 around there. I believe it was a free plus shipping offer at the time as well. They were literally selling it for like $150. And that's absolutely insane. So think about that margin, like it's a way bigger margin. So it's much more beneficial to try to build a brand because even if you build half the brand, or even like in our case, if I had built half the brand that they had had, I'm fine with having five times the amount of uh, profit on the same products. Why not? I'm sure you guys would be too. So again, when it comes to building a brand, like you don't even have to be as successful as the best brand that's doing it. If you're just half as successful, you're going to be making a lot more money. So that's the kind of end result that I think of is what is the benefit of actually building a brand? What kind of skill sets does it involve? And what's the reward of doing it? So that's obviously huge. Now, one of the ways that I'm planning on doing it myself, and I figured why not just share with you guys is, you know, I'm planning on taking, you know, one of the next winning products that I find, you know, taking that product and actually ordering a, a decent amount of that product to a fulfillment center. For those of you guys that don't know what fulfillment centers are, a fulfillment centers, you can actually, uh, they're actually centers where you can send products to them. Uh, obviously, it'll probably be bulk amount of products and they'll take care of completely packaging your products with, you know, whatever kind of packaging you want with your logo, all that stuff. And they'll fulfill the whole order for you. And they usually have faster shipping because they're usually here in the U.S. So that's one of the things I'm planning on doing is we're going to test out whatever product we're selling at the time, maybe more than one, depending on how much it costs. Um, just ordering maybe a few hundred of them to a fulfillment center, branding it with, the, with our box, or logos, all that great stuff and having faster shipping and testing it out and seeing how it goes. And obviously, depending on how that goes, we'll probably scale up. But that's one of the things that we've been working on doing as well. And this is actually what the top level e-commerce guys are doing like we have mentors of ours that they're literally doing this exact same thing they don't try to drop shit they, we know we have mentors of ours you know guys that are doing like millions of dollars and they don't try to drop just drop ship products because they know that you know drop shipping anyone could just go ahead and do that now but when it comes to building a brand or a specific product what they'll do is that they'll start drop shipping the product to see if the idea of the product actually works and then after it works, it transitions into brand building and really having uh, a ton of those products ordered ahead of time to really cut out the shipping times and all that and really have people trust that brand and want to order more of that product. So main focus of this video to be is sharing with you guys why you should try to build a brand because again, it is going to be the next level of e-commerce and that's where there's going to be tons of opportunities because literally I see people doing it already. There's already people that they're taking you know products and they're building what they're doing is that they're building a store they're trying to brand it in a sense what they're doing is they're finding products on aliexpress and whatever names some of these products sometimes they have like names like if it's like a a cream or something they'll have names on their on the actual product and they're building a store around that name actually naming the store buying the url and having it seem as if you know that's actually the brand yeah i just thought i'd take a second to kind of share with you guys as to why you should consider trying to build a brand because in the long run you will make a lot more money if you try to build a brand and you actually end up being successful at building a brand and it's a great skills to have again I'm in the learning process just as much as you guys are so obviously I'll be sharing a lot more brand building things and kind of the process along the journey as well as long as it ends up working if it doesn't work obviously I fail but I'm gonna keep trying because I know for a fact that brand building and having a brand is a lot more powerful than just a regular drop shipping store. So if you guys picked up a thing or two from this video, make sure you drop a like on this video. If you guys have anything to add on when it comes to brand building or if there's any questions you have about the whole brand building process, make sure you drop it in the comments below. Of course, if you guys haven't already, make sure you join the family, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.